Hey guys. hey guys, hope you're all well. Welcome back to another video. Mm -hmm. Hope you guys have been enjoying that munch life. It's all about the munch, guys. Go on, what are we doing us. today? Do you want to sell a munch or I sell a? We're tell doing them. butterfly king prawn gel frenzy, mm -hmm. guys. With extra garlic, guys. It's gonna be peppery. It's gonna be, oh. it's gonna be zesty. Oh. It's gonna be fiery. It is gonna be fiery, guys. It's it gonna is have one of our dishes flavors. where we. Uh, we go all in with the chilies, with the peppers, and definitely the zest. In the the munch prawns, test. I actually make it butterfly, don't I? Oh, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually cool. put it in now so you can see how I actually do that. This is why we call it butterfly king prawns. So these are the prawns that we're gonna be using. They're deveined already. All we're gonna do is slit them to butterfly them. So guys, once you've slit it through, as you can see, make sure you stop roughly there so at least tail bit is attached because obviously you want it attached otherwise it's just going to fall apart so now we're going to go ahead and marinate this a sprinkle of chili powder turmeric powder quarter teaspoon of curry powder so this is literally just to get flavors into the prawns i'm not going to marinate it for long to be honest i'm just going to leave it here for resting for like um 30 minutes it's just going to bring out that lovely color in the prawns when we go to fry it one heat teaspoon of chili powder heat teaspoon of coriander powder half a teaspoon of turmeric powder and half a teaspoon of garam masala Cook. oil salt to taste tomato puree cannot forget the star ingredient, <laughs> the main ingredient. give us a little flick of this oh, house yes, just show us guys. the butterfly look at that guys Here this is are. how you butterfly a prawn mm -hmm. so this is roughly three tablespoons of oil it needs to be really, really hot, guys. And the reason why it needs to be hot is we don't want to overcook the prawns. We want them to just basically sizzle straight away. We want the outer layer to get a slight crisp layer on it. Dusted high heat, so guys. Giving it a... oh, here we go. RJ, do you want to do a stirring for us? Thank you. Oh, yeah. It could it's have gone slightly later, hotter, but it's fine. My chef loves to stir whilst I cook. <laughs> it's true though, isn't it? You're yep. always doing that. You know what we <laughs> you are. You have to be the chef guy. Oh yeah. Beautiful butterflies. Okay, we're going to take them out now guys. We want to go in with a little bit more oil. We're going to go in with another two tablespoons, guys. We're going to let that heat up now. And stir all that around. Popped onions. We're going to give this a nice stir, guys. So literally 10 seconds stir. And I'm going to go in with the sliced garlic. It's on medium heat, guys. Now Ooh, we've got a nice amount of garlic there. Absolutely. Nice stir. Now we're going to go in with a sprinkle of salt. So just a sprinkle. That just releases the moisture from the onions. And then we give it a stir. Okay, so guys, it's been literally two, three minutes, as you can see. Basically, you don't want to fry the garlic too much because I still want the garlic's flavour and the intensity to remain. So I'm now going to go in with a quarter cup of water with a heaped tablespoon of a tomato puree. I'm going to give it a quick little mix around. There we are. So I'm going to go in with the ground spices. That's the chilli, turmeric, coriander and the go in masala. And then a squeeze of half a lemon because we want all this acidity in this dish. It's like one of the key ingredients and then we give it a nice old stir guys. And the heat is on low at the moment. Quarter cup of water, there we go. So guys, it's just been a minute, so I'm gonna go in with my sliced onions. So I'm gonna literally cook this for, say, four to five minutes on low heat. And the reason why we've added sliced onions now is because we wanna keep them whole. So I'm gonna go in with one teaspoon of salt. Keep stirring this. It's been five minutes of the spices and onions all cooking together. Go in with the prawns, so the peppers go in and the green chilies. So I'm literally going to cook this for eight minutes. We want to give this a nice stir. Oh, check out these colours, guys. It's looking so, so good. It's smelling so, so good. And I can't wait to get into these prawns. So guys, at this stage, I want to add in another half a cup of water. Here it goes. It's 
been six to seven minutes now and the oil has separated as well so it's coming to an end now I'm going to give it a nice odd stir before I finish this off oh it's smelling so so good so now I'm going to go in with the lemon zest so I just want to grate this guys and give it a nice stir I want all that zesty flavours into the prawns quarter cup of water now and this is going to work towards the gravy so at this stage now i'm just going to give it a nice stir wow look at the vibrancy guys look at the vibrancy this is what you call butterfly butterfly king prawn gel frazy guys and now i'm going to go in with the coriander finish it all off I'm going to give it a stir now. I want all that coriander to get mixed in. Although I want it for garnishing as well, I want the flavour of the coriander in this dish. Wow, cha. And now this is the finishing touch, guys. There we are. As you can see, guys, it's a nice thick sauce. We haven't dissolved all the onions, so some you'll still get a bite into. But as you can see, beautiful. And these butterfly prawns are looking amazing. Beautiful. Look at that all the vibrant colors looks amazing guys can't wait to do the munch test oh look at that beautiful now it let's have a little so, try so good and it smells absolutely delicious guys when we say butterfly prawn this is what it looks like okay i'm going in by the way mm. 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 Oh my god. Mmm. What do you think? Oh, you've like done yourself. Mm. Oh gosh, mm. it is. I must say, guys, this is tasting so, oh, so, so god. good, guys. And the peppers, they're cooked just right, isn't it? Mmm. Because the peppers, you can't go too. With peppers, you can't, you can't go too, too soft. They go soggy. Mm -hmm. And you can't be raw because. I mean, raw is nice, mm -hmm. uh, half raw in, in Chinese food, but Indian food has got to be slightly cooked. Now. The beauty of doing the butterfly like this is coriander, mm. my favourite. Mm. Mm. You bite one side first. I just mm. chucked the whole thing in, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> I like to have the whole I thing in. I chucked the whole thing in. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Sometimes you want to do it all in. Absolutely delicious, guys. I have to say, this is so, so, so good. And I must say, it's got that kick in it as well. Mm. I can taste the lemon as well, the tang. It's tasting so good, guys. And we have this whole green chilli. Mm. Be careful. Mm. Oh my gosh. Ooh, kick. That's why we never slip them in half. Go with the cucumber. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. And then you can care and share by taking one side <laughs> and then your partner takes the other side. Mm. I like the whole thing. <laughs> oh, I'm a yes. Greedy. No, you have to when it's flavours like this. You guys know, right? I'm the greedy hair. Guys, flavours like this, you have to be greedy. Mm. Mm. Look mm. at the flavours, intense oh, flavours wow. in there. And the good thing is, mm. the red peppers gives it that nice sweetness. So delicious. Mm. Absolutely delicious. If you believe this was munch worthy, then go and make the munch yourself. Mm -hmm. Punch the like, and don't forget to subscribe and share. With yeah. all the munchers out, out there. there. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. And don't forget the ding ding. <laughs>